the track and field, when we do a certain activations to prep the body to go and run. Okay. First one we always have to activate our course. We set the set the athlete in the plank position. Set on low 35 or 35 hertz. And then set this position here, it's going to pre-activate his core. The reason why because when you sweat it, you got to transfer energy from your feet all the way to the heads and project this forward. We don't want to have leakage in our core. So as you maintain this position, it's going to pre-activate his transverse abdominis, his obliques, and his abdominis. So for the second activation, we try to uh, stretch our hip flexor. One thing this does is it opens up and it prevents his hips. And going from this position and he opens above, so he tilts back so he has a posterior tilt of his pelvis going back. So if I'm in this position here, the reason why we do that is because this is the most important thing when it comes to sprinting, is the anterior chain. So we have to open it up and strengthen it up. So as the athlete activates, we turn it on, same hurts, 35 low. <laughs> Even it sits in this position, it's not going to shut off the stretch reflex, it's going to be able to pull that position and open him up. The same concept, hip flexion because it's so important. Now he's going to double stretch on his quadriceps and his hip flexor as well. So he's going to pass his hips forward. He's getting this opening this whole anterior chain up, which is extremely important. And I'll be able to activate our anterior chain in order to sprint fast. So as Kumar sets up, grabs his foot, he stretches quite so. Athlete here is doing an inverted toe touch. Toe touch. What he's doing is activating his glutes and hamstrings. He's able to stretch out his hamstrings and activate his glutes. Okay. Extremely important to activate, pre-activate this area before we sprint. For obvious reasons. Because your hips and your glutes are the primary movement when you go forward. The athlete sets up with his toes pointed out real wide, the reason why it's called transverse squat. Usually we have athletes open up and then squat down, but not on the power play, right? When I'm in the stable circuits. Same concept, low 35 to 40 hertz. Whole, the whole idea is pre-activation. Activating his groin, activating his hips, activating his glutes as he reaches back. This is extremely important when we want to open up our hips and be able to run and run accordingly and run fast.